Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, whereby we are going to interact and learn together. We are going to have our biology from 3, lesson 9, whereby your tutor will be Mr. Gerald. We are going to unload the topic on ecology and the subtopic are the concepts of ecology. Uh, but before that, we can have the following lesson goals, whereby by the end of the lesson, you should be able to define several terms as used in ecology. Um, as you can see, we have got concepts of ecology. But before that, we can um, have some introduction on uh, actually some aspects of ecology, whereby uh, we can say ecology is the study of the internal, um, the internal relationships of organisms to each other and to the environment. As you are aware that the environment constitutes the surrounding of an organism, whereby it is both the living and the non-living. Therefore, the environment constitutes all the factors that act on an organism. If the uh, study involves a single species, it is referred to as out ecology, uh, while the study of many species is called a sin ecology. I, out ecology is the study of an individual species within a community. It involves studying the relationship of the species with both biotic and abiotic components of the ecosystem, its life cycle and adaptations uh, for survival. Sin ecology, on the other hand, is the study of different species of organisms interacting among themselves within an ecosystem. Now we can get, uh, that is the introduction part of ecology, now we can get into uh, certain concepts which are used in ecology whereby uh, before getting very far it is important for um, for us to um, familiarize ourselves with these terms whereby as we can see our first term here is biosphere whereby uh, we can say the biosphere is the part of the earth and atmosphere which is inhabited by living organisms we can have our second um, concept there which is habitat whereby um, this is a specific locality with a particular set of conditions whereby an organism lives. Habitats are categorized into either terrestrial habitats and we also have aquatic habitats whereby the terrestrial is the, the land and uh, for the aquatic is water. We have another concept here which is we, uh, defined as the ecological niche whereby this is the position that an organism occupies in, um, in a habitat. It includes the physical space where an organism is found and its role in that habitat in terms of feeding relationships and other interactions with other species. We can have another concept which is um, population. Whereby you can say population, it refers to all the members of a given species in a particular habitat at a particular time. We can have, uh, for example, a population of lions in Savo National Park or a population of Meru Oak on Mount Kenya Forest. And I have another concept here which is a community whereby a community refers to all the organisms belonging to different species that interact in the same habitat. Um, a common uh, a community therefore is made up of uh, populations. Uh, you can refer to what we have def uh, how we have defined population. A community is not static but undergoes changes progressively starting from a simple form to a more complex form. Um, we have another concept, though not uh, not on our screen, which is an ecosystem. Remember, we can see that this is a natural unit composed of abiotic and biotic factors whose interactions lead to self-sustaining system. For example, a small pond or a large ecosystem such as the tropical forest. We have um, another um, concept, which is uh, the biomass, whereby uh, the biomass is normally um, defined as the total dry weight of living organisms at a particular trophic level per unit area. E.g. we can have uh, the total weight of a maize crop per hectare. Or we can also have another example of um, um, the weight of uh, zebras in a park. On the other hand, we also we have what we call the carrying capacity. Whereby um, this carrying capacity, it refers to the maximum number of organisms an area can comfortably support without depletion of the available resources. E.g. Um, the maximum number of cattle a paddock can hold without uh, over grazing. Now having done and say that, we can have factors in an ecosystem. Remember, uh, we, uh, there are some um, fa uh, factors which interact in an ecosystem. The first factor, we can have the light, whereby uh, we normally know that the sun is the main source of um, energy for life on earth. Green plants and photosynthetic bacteria need light energy to manufacture food. Animals depend on plants for food. Um, yes, you are aware that light affects living organisms in terms of um, either intensity and also duration. Light intensity and the quality affect the rate of photosynthesis. Whereby, um, 
uh, as we are aware that uh, flowering and germination of plants while um, depends on the light. A photographic light meter is used to measure light intensity, while the switch disk measures light penetration in water. We can have another factor in an ecosystem whereby the, we can have the temperature whereby and remember this temperature, uh, our diagrammatic representation here is being we have the maximum and the minimum thermometer. The biochemical process of most organisms function efficiently within a narrow range of temperature. Temperatures are due to the season's altitude, latitude and also diurnally, especially in hot deserts. Um, living organisms must develop necessary physiological and behavioral adaptations to cope with the extremes of temperature.